Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Old Pappy back with another one. Thanks for tuning in. And man, I I, I don't know what to say, man. I, I, I got to apologize. This is the type of video I actually am going to deeply regret posting. I wonder, is there anybody out there, any YouTubers out there who uh, once in a while you post a video and you just know it's going to get filled with negative comments? You just know that you're going to get torn apart? Well, I know this is a video that's going to happen because I know so many guys out there just hate Titans. They're mad at the Titans. They're, they're not a big fan of the fact that they're in the game. I get it. But I wanted to show this video here to show you the insane overpowered nature of the new czar weapons uh, that got a that got a buff here recently right i mean um i'm gonna take you back a little step here you just start watching me play here and i'm gonna i'm gonna take you back a little step we're gonna go on a little journey here with old pappy so when titans first came out everybody rushed out and got the uh, the dragoon style weapons the big the, you know because everybody was seeing people melt them from 600 meters and they are strong don't get me wrong I went in the other direction and I got the Zars and they fired every five seconds I think it was and they do quite a lot of damage and especially I really love the fact that they do splash damage right they do splash damage and I thought maybe that's more more versatile right I mean and because the Dragoon ones if you're hiding behind a rock they can't hurt you uh, whereas these uh, these splash weapons it's almost like running the old Russian death button um, back in the day, right, where you can you can uh, you can take down guys when they're hiding around corners or around buildings, and but people people laughed at me. People kind of said on the Facebook page, "Oh, Pappy, you're full of it. You're crazy, man. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Look at that. I just got myself a rampage. Um, you're full of it. We, uh, you're an idiot for spending your your hard-earned uh, money, whatever, on these uh, useless rupture and czars when uh, the dragoon weapons were the way to go." Okay, and maybe, you know, maybe these new, um, these new lightning weapons that are coming out, the Cataclysm and Cyclone, they're gonna, you know, maybe they'll be the, the new meta, who knows. But, I want to show you this video, video now. Um, in the last update that just happened, the Tsars got a major buff. They reload and fire 20% faster. That's a full, um, a full second off the firing rate. So they actually fire um, every four seconds. And... I mean, you saw what you just saw, I, uh, where I got that rampage. I'm going to show you uh, a series of four games that I played. I think it's four that I played, only showing you the Ming and the Tsar. And just to show you the overwhelming, not only the overwhelming firepower uh, that is now um, part and parcel of the Tsar itself, but also why these weapons are so insanely versatile compared to, say, the Dragoon weapons or any other line of sight one where you need to have a line of sight. So first of all, let's get right out of here. So here we are, we're on uh, moon map. Um, and the one thing right off the bat you're noticing is that I don't spend a lot of time in the air, right? Like, like I, I mean, what are you doing, Pappy? This, it's a Ming, you should be up in the air, right? Flying around. But no, actually, that's not what you do when you run the Ming with these with these weapons. You gotta stay within 500 meter range, which puts you in uh, range of a lot of deadly, deadly counter strikes, uh, not to mention other Titans. And the other thing you got to do is you got to use the fact that the um, the Ming gets extra damage resistance when it's on the ground. I mean, especially if you do upgrade that middle um, the middle skill or whatever you want to call it on your on your Titans. I know a lot of people they care more about defense points and they care more about damage. But this is one of those Ming or those um, Titans, I should say. The Ming is a Titan where those uh, those extra defense points when you're on the ground are huge because I can absorb a lot of extra damage by just staying down and then playing like a Russian death button, jumping up in the air, hammering people, and then getting back down to ground as fast as possible, taking hopefully the minimum amount of damage as you know that you have to take when you when you stick your head up you know like a little gopher when you stick your head up out of the ground you, you you take a little bit of a beating but then you can pop right back down and you can start um, relying on that damage resistance again so here we go let's go let's let's see let's start hitting this guy there's a guy hiding around the corner there i am getting hit by that dojun let me take him down i'm going to give him a little blast um, a little bit of a lag delay isn't there a little bit of lag and delay in the game but let's see if we can get him so we're gonna shoot him his last stand kicks in got him anyway triple kill there goes a titan slayer 
Let's, uh, let's, uh, again, let's try to corner shoot this guy. Again, I would not be able to do that if it was a Dragoon style weapon, right? Or even the machine guns would not be able to corner shoot. So let's see, we got another victory. How did we do for damage? And in all of these games, what I did was I played the minimum amount possible um, to, to activate my Titan, just to let you know. So a lot of this damage, it wasn't racked up by a bunch of other robots. It actually is racked up by the Titan. And I, I got to admit, I again, I, I, I know that some people are going to be pissed off about that because a lot of guys I see on the Facebook pages, they're always complaining, saying, well, it's not fair. Um, some guys have super-powered Titans. And number two, they bring them in too early in the game and they actually want to see Pixonic um, uh, make it harder to charge up your Titan so that you can uh, you, you can't use them until maybe the, the last couple minutes of a game. And maybe that'll happen. Maybe that'll be in another update. But again, let's just get back in here. I think this might be the last game I'm gonna show you. Uh, we're just gonna take a quick look. No, uh, I'm a damn liar. Um, there's actually, uh, well, let's just see how it goes. So I wanna show you this game here, um, particularly because I'm able, look at that. I'm able to hit guys that are literally hiding safely behind these energy barriers and um, um, getting guys that are, are, are hiding behind walls. Um, this guy here, again, I'm staying on the ground. I'm not flying around like an idiot, like a, like a sitting duck just getting nailed by these guys. And, um, you know, one of the things you, you see what I'm trying to do here very, very carefully, trying to target so that, there you go, I'm trying to target so that I'm just getting the crosshairs outside of where he's hiding, and literally there's nowhere to hide. Boom. Double kill. Okay, let's get up in the air for a second. I'm going to try to push forward a little bit. Now, it might it might come back to haunt me. I don't know, but I really want to get around the corner, and I'm going to show you just, again, how devastating devastating this, these czars are um, with the ruptures. The ruptures could need a buff a little bit, but like, let's check this out. Look at this. So we're going to get that guy. Boom. Triple kill. That guy. Rampage. Crazy. Now, the other thing I'm doing tactics-wise, you might be saying, okay, well, then why don't I just keep pushing forward? Well, the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are, are playing smartly enough. Just got a godlike you got to make sure you're playing smartly enough so that you're always keeping out of the range of all that counter fire. And I knew that if I stayed over there, guys, this is death, um, death match. So guys will just keep um, spawning in on me there, right? They're just going to keep coming, and then eventually I'll lose too much health. In fact, already I'm almost down to half health, which I would not want. I don't really want to be, but I'm going to kind of hide down here. Um, now, okay, great. So here's another another example of where these czars really shine. So, um, you know. So many guys out there again. I don't want to be an "I told you a so" guy, but when the, when the when the uh, Titans first came out, I was huge on the Ming train. I was one of the first guys. I loved it. I even did a video called "Mighty Ming," and everybody on the comments making fun of me. Pappy, you're an idiot. Pappy, you're a fool. Arthur is the way to go. Arthur is the going to be the meta. It's so strong. It's I mean, some of the top YouTubers, some of the top YouTubers, the top. You may know who I'm talking about. Some of the top YouTubers were doing videos um, and getting on the Facebook page and having a good healthy debate. I mean, I'm, I'm not making fun of them. I'm just saying, like, like, they were really going to the wall saying that Arthur was the best Titan. And I immediately was like, no, no, no. Because the Ming has, has better mobility. It can actually capture beacons. Um, yes, and Arthur can hold a beacon, but it is so damn slow that you, you, you can't really effectively move around the battlefield. And the other thing that the Arthur is insanely, insanely vulnerable to are these Tsar splash weapons. And I think partly the reason why everybody loved Arthur at first is because so many guys in Mings were actually using the Dragoon style weapons, right? And the, the, if you have these Dragoon, Dragoon ones, you might as well just be, you know, shooting at a brick wall because you could shoot an Arthur shield for six days and it probably wouldn't break it, right? So, so yes. I'm not making fun of the other YouTubers. What I'm saying is based on their, at the point at the point that this conversation was going on, based on their limited knowledge and only largely facing Mings with Dragoon weapons, yes, and Arthur is very strong because you can just walk straight up to the Ming and just shoot it and it'll die. But once you start to face these Mings with these Tsar weapons, that's a whole nother ball of wax. So let's, there we go. There's a guy on me now. I'm going to get behind, a um, little bit, a little bit behind cover, try to get some of his, um, of his machine gun fire off me. 
and okay I gotta wait a second because I've been suppressed so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start hitting this guy and just look at me shave off his health here I got two of them look at this there's a guy on one side and a guy on the other so I gotta be very careful trying to position the, the uh, pipe in between me and then pick your chance get up in the air and watch him help let's look at his health man oh man look at that bang what was that 20 seconds it took to kill him maybe 20 seconds Anyway, let's come on over here and check out the other guy. Let's go see if we can get him. He's around the corner. I'm going to try to get a little bit of a better opening to shoot at him. And just every four seconds, there's that buff. Every four seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, pain. One, you know what I mean? One, two, three, pain. That's literally what the Reds are feeling when you use this. And so there you go. Bang. And look at this. I started to fall off, but I managed to save myself. Oh, man, that was pretty funny. When I was playing the game earlier, I was laughing, thinking like I could have fell into the river there. Uh, but I did survive. And this game is rapidly coming to a close. And so I just want to give you some final thoughts here about this, um, about this setup. I think that uh, the Tsar is now one of the most um, uh, viable weapons to use with Ming now especially. And yes, the Nodens is going to be strong and these new Cataclysm and Cyclones may change, may be game changers. I don't know. I don't have them yet. But for now, if you are looking for something that really deals the pain, try to play the Ming the way I played it and uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised. So check out this score. Again, almost all Ming. 4 million damage and 12 kills. So yes, I'm going to get some hate. People are going to say that you're 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 just shooting fish in a barrel. Um, what can I say, man? I got the Ming um, and I got the weapons. Um, I try not to uh, abuse it. I don't want to try to bring it out all the time. And uh, normally, especially not this early in the game, normally like I did with this video, but um, it is powerful. And so again, if you like what you saw, uh, please. You know, hit me up in the in the comments. Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, tell me what I'm tell me what I'm wrong about. Tell me about um, tell me about other Titan setups that are more powerful. Um, I'd love to see them. Until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.